So here we are going to uh, consider another question uh, based on star and delta transformation. So here we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. Here the star to delta transformation concept will be used indirectly for the evaluation of equivalent resistance. In the previous uh, problem, we directly uh, evaluated the star network of a given delta network. Here we are using, here we are going to use the star to delta transformation concept to solve this network and find the equivalent resistance. So here we have, uh, we have been given this network in this way and we have to determine the equivalent resistance in between these two points. So the important thing which you have to immediately take notice is this structure, okay, this star shaped structure. If you just try to solve it just like that without thinking of star to delta transformation, then it will be very difficult, okay. You cannot proceed in any way. You may think that these, this 10 ohm and this 2 ohm and this 2 ohm, they are connected in series or they are in parallel or then you try to solve this 5 ohm, but it is all wrong. You have to use the star to delta transformation. So consider this star shaped network, which consists of 3 2 ohm resistors connected in star shape. So I am going to consider this separately, okay this 2 ohm, this 2 ohm and this 2 ohm, 2 ohm and 2 ohm. So let us just name them 1, 2 and 3. So we have to determine the resistance in between points this, this, this. It is R12, this is R23 and this is R31. So let us use the star to delta conversion formula. Now, I have already discussed about that uh, in uh, the separate video which uh, I have posted in my channel which is the star to delta transformation concept and the star to delta and delta to star transformation. There uh, we studied about the various interconversion formula for star to delta and delta to star conversion. So you please check out that video. Okay. So now we will calculate R12. So R12 is equal to delta by R3. So in that video, I told you about the trick to remember this formula. This delta is common in every in every expression of this delta equivalent. So in me, R23 will be delta by R1 and R31 will be delta by R2. See, this delta part is common in the numerator of all the R12, the R23 and the R31. And the denominator is actually the missing number from here. There are three points, 1, 2 and 3. Here the number which is missing is 3. We are calculating R12, the number which is missing is 3. That came up in the denominator. Here R23, the number which is missing is 1. So the R1 comes up in the denominator. And here R31, the number which is missing is 2. So 2 came up in the denominator. And this value of delta is R1, R2 plus R2, R3 plus R3, R1. Here the value of delta for this given network is equal to 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2 which is equal to 12. 4 plus 4 plus 4. So the values of R12, R23 and R31 will be the same because 
the three resistors involved in the star shape connection they are equal so here our calculations it is minimized our effort is minimized because the three resistors are the same but still we have to calculate it so let us calculate delta we calculated just as 12 and r3 is 2 all are 2 so it is 6 ohm similarly this also it is 12 by 2 which is equal to 6 ohm and this is also 12 by 2 which is equal to 6 ohm okay so all the values r12 r23 and r31 they came as 6 ohms okay all are 6 ohms so now we are going to solve this circuit this circuit our objective is to find equivalent resistance so now let us solve the circuit and uh, determine the equivalent resistance so now we can again redraw this circuit okay this is this 5 ohm this 10 ohm and here we have this 10 ohm okay so actually we got this okay this and this okay this is 5 ohm this is 10 ohm and this is 10 ohm and this is 6 ohm this is 6 ohm and this is 6 ohm the drawing looks a bit clumsy but uh, it's like this so it is actually this 5 ohm and 6 ohm they are in parallel with each other this 10 ohm and 6 ohm they are in parallel with each other and this 10 ohm and this 6 ohm they are in parallel with each other so again let us just draw this in a more simple way it is like this okay and this okay this is this is 10 ohm this is 6 ohm this is 5 ohm this is 6 ohm this is 6 ohm and this is 10 ohm okay so now we have to calculate the equivalent resistance let us first calculate the equivalent resistance of this network and this network it is 10 parallel 6 and this is 5 parallel 6 so 10 parallel 6 is equal to 10 into 6 by 10 plus 6 which is equal to 60 by 16 60 divided by 16 which is equal to 3.75 ohm and this is equal to 5 into 6 by 11 which is equal to 30 by 11 which is equal to 2.72 ohm okay so 3.75 ohm this is and this is uh, so let us just replace that okay this we can replace with a single resistor 10 and 6 3.75 ohm this 5 parallel 6 is 2.72 ohm Two point seven two ohm, and this also it is ten parallel six, so this will be also three point seven five ohm. Okay, this is also ten parallel six. This will be also three point seven five. Now you can see that this two point seven two ohm 
and 3.75 ohm are in series okay so let's add them together 2.72 plus 3.75 it is around 6.47 ohm okay 6.47 ohm six point four seven ohm now this three point seven five and this six point four seven are in parallel connection okay they are in parallel connection because their two ends are connected in between the same two points in between these two points this 3.75 ohm is connected and also the 6.47 ohm is connected so the equivalent resistance the final equivalent resistance is actually the parallel connection between 3.75 ohm and 6.47 ohm so it will be <coughs> sorry The equivalent resistance will be 3.75 into 6.47 by 3.75 plus 6.47, which will be equal to 24.28 divided by 10.22 which is which can further simplify as 24.28 divided by 10.22 2.37 ohm okay 2.37 ohm this is the final equivalent resistance so here you see the utilization of the star to delta transformation and the delta to star transformation okay here we use the star to delta transformation concept to simplify this network otherwise it would have been impossible to determine the equivalent resistance because how can you approach this circuit nothing is connected in series nothing is connected in parallel there is no pattern unless and until you convert the star shaped network into delta you cannot determine the equivalent resistance it would be very 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 difficult okay so here the star to delta transformation concept comes into play you have to use that concept to convert the star shape into delta only then you can simplify the circuit and determine the equivalent resistance okay so here is a example okay where we use the star to delta transformation concept to simplify a circuit to calculate the equivalent resistance okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much